the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning to you all. And a very warm welcome to you to our celebration of Mass this morning. We're offering our Mass this morning for the Hickson and MacDonald families. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind the prayer singers. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just. Listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you have generously promised may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. 
Ask our blessed lady to pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Loving God, you care for each of your people. We pray that you will pour out your blessings upon us. Give us your protection, your healing, and your we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, which earth has given into human hands of men. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual dream. Partakers of the one supreme Godhead. 
but we pray that as we come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. And yet more gloriously, at the, in this time when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For the old order destroyed, it is destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts together proclaim the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said, Blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Listen 
graciously to the prayers of the family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father, the prayer our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a little wave of peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and I have appointed you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. My Jesus, I believe that you are present. We kneel truly in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you sacramentally. I am unable to do so at this time. Come now at least spiritually into my heart. I accept you and embrace you. And I unite myself wholly with you. Never permit me to be separated from you through Christ our Lord. I 
let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life. And we ask all this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, 